Hi folks, it's cold out here. It's three degrees below zero and it's only the day after Christmas. Hey, when it's cold outside, how do we keep it warm inside the shop? Come on in, take a look. Ho oh, ho, it's nice here inside the Woodmaker Workshop and there's the reason, our pellet stove. And it's fitting, of course, the pellets are wood pellets and we are in favor of wood and maybe some corn. We heated with propane at one time. You can see there on the ceiling where the propane heater was hanging and there's the switch for the furnace, but now that switch controls the light. One nice thing about our pellet stove is it needs only a one inch clearance to the walls, a huge advantage over wood burning stoves. And for us, there were no issues with building codes or our insurance company. Our stove was a display unit. We bought it at a reasonable price, but this we can say it's a piece of equipment for the shop. And like much of our machinery, top quality equipment gently used makes more sense than a cheap product at a cheap price. Here you can see we raised the entire unit off the floor five inches or so and here's the exhaust vent coming out the building. We took the time and effort to draw the air for combustion from the cold side of the shop because there is a danger for backdraft and carbon monoxide. And here you can see we inserted a screen in the pipe to keep the critters out. The stove has a hopper which the manufacturer claims will hold 70 pounds of pellets. A claim we don't dispute because it is what it is and holds what it holds and it's satisfactory in every way. It's what goes in the hopper that we pay attention to. And over the years, we seem to have settled for a mixture of wood pellets and corn with around a 60-40 mix. 60% pellets, 40% corn. The advantage is corn burns hotter, so you get more BTUs for the money, but corn alone may not burn very well in some stoves and it can be hard to ignite. Speaking of that, getting the stove going, we have a way that works great. We soak some wood pellets in recycled mineral spirits because unlike lacquer thinner and other highly volatile substances, mineral spirits won't flash when lit. Here, see what I mean. After a time, the stove's flame will tell the stove it's okay to start feeding pellets into the fire pot as you see here. After a bit more time, the unit will sense that the exchange tubes are sufficiently heated and the blower comes on. The stove was originally designed to have the pellets in the firebox stirred at a certain interval, but a later conversion kit with a deeper firebox made stirring no longer necessary, and we like that because the stove runs considerably quieter. Well, that's about it. We should mention that the propane furnace we once used was rated at 75,000 BTUs. This pellet stove at 37,000, about half. But with the hanging stove, it only felt warm when the fan was blowing, and it blew with enough force to blow sawdust and particles around the shop. The pellet stove runs continually, runs quieter, without dust being blown all over the place. So we're happy. Well, not, not real happy, but we will be when the temperature gets up to the freezing point. Thanks for watching. Why not subscribe to the Woodmaker Workshop channel?